every time. Like, you're always so inappropriate, you parental person. Always cuts off at the wrong moment. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. What up? Don't hey. mind us. Ever. Don't, never. Don't ever I don't mind think, us. I don't think they do. They do, because we only got like three motherfuckers on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we got seven today. What up, y'all? Oh, no, baby. Believe me, they be stalking. So, <laughs> as. A, a, oh, shh. Good evening. Good evening. We were having some technical difficulties, so we're trying. Yeah, we to get always it. have technical difficulties. We, what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck y'all. Technical difficulties. Listen, y'all. I be trying to talk, and yeah. it just be coming out completely wrong. Like I'm just gonna blame it on the medication. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, anywho. So, first of all, I I'm gonna start off by there. saying, "Fuck you, Mother Nature." Facts. Listen, Man. I am wearing spring clothes from here on out. <laughs> I don't care if I'm walking in here in some slides in 12 feet of snow. You going to see me skating with my, my cane. Like, I even got the little pokey thing that will get me through it. I got two of them, and I'm <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I refuse to believe it is this motherfucker cold in March. It's cold. Fuck y'all. I refuse. Spring. Spring. It's just dreading trying to get out the car when you know it's cold when you open the door. Ugh. Yeah, I was I getting out of the car like, like I was, like I was what eighty-five. Up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool on it. I'm cool. Always qualified it. second place. I'm cool on it. I'm cool on it. Congratulations. Congrats. I'm over it. Anyway, as you see, Louise is absent again. Um. Over the birdie said she may. <laughs> she may be back, honey. She may be back next week. She Unless may she be. needs to find out. No. Unless your name is Jeremy, then. Fuck you, <laughs> bitch. Or Robert Park. Like, I was giving you props on this motherfucker show about tattoos, and you a punk bitch. I'm just letting a you know. Bitch. We're going to get into that. All I'm of us. Bitch. We got to block all of us. How you going to block me, you stupid Am I black? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know but is. this dumb motherfucker going to be like, um, come so over. So tell the Lu story real quick. So we were all going to kick it over Louise's house. He was setting up a piece for me to cover my arm before I started chemo again, and we was going to knock it out because, like, I'm, I have a break on chemo right now because we're switching the type of chemo I'm going to be getting. So. I go over there. He over here even sizing this motherfucker up. Even took the time to draw it and print it out. In three different sizes. In three different sizes, right? So we there kicking it, right? And Having a good old fucking time. Man, blitzed. And um, all of a and sudden. And then it got weird. Right, <laughs> like hella weird. This motherfucker get, like, texting on his phone, smiling. And then out of nowhere, he gets a phone call. And I got to go. This is a family emergency. Just like, oh. I it was really it. weird. It was just like one of those situations that the you vibe in. just like they the vibe it. Changed. And she's they looking at me it. like, what just happened? And I'm like, I don't know. She's like, you yeah. know, I don't never know what's going on. Like, I really <laughs> didn't know. But like, you what? notice when there's something not right. Yes. It was okay. just yes. not okay. normal. So anyway, he I'm goes, looking at these two weird as fuck. And I'm like. Right, like, what's what's the vibe right now? So then he go, I said, well, you live close to me, so you could just kick it. I'm, like, kind of housebound right Talking now. Talking to the girlfriend, the even weirder one. Right, like, like you could just call me and, like, come to my house because you live, like, right down the road, literally, like, five minutes, and we could do this. You know, I'm kind of stuck in the house right now. I can go to limited places, but, you know. All right, so he goes, call me on Tuesday. <laughs> They said dates. He got on his knees and for like 10 minutes talking to Sizing her. Sizing this bitch up. Like, that like, was a whole crazy situation. Like, super I still don't fucking understand extra. It. And super <laughs> fucking extra, right? Super extra about the whole situation. It was weird. So then all of a sudden, me, him, and Carla were in a chat about meeting up at her house for this tattoo. All of a sudden, it says, Robert Park has left the chat. Well, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> so I messaged her. I'm like, hey, did you see he left the chat? Well, then all of a sudden, I just out the blue, I go Robert Park. He just all of a sudden, like, went into fucking 
with the Titanic and just disappeared. Like he oh, all right, gone. Right. No disrespect <laughs> to the Titanic, ti- like the Titanic people. I'm just saying. I don't think so that they're gonna take any. <laughs> I mean, their their people or their family member bloodline still around. So you know what I'm saying. So I'm just like, huh. but he still has Robert Park tats that I'm not blocked, dumbass. So mm-hmm. that's when he got tagged in that one, bitch. So then I said, babe, check your Facebook and see if you still on his friends list. Heh. You blocked him. Block. I said, Sam. <laughs> I said, you know what this motherfucker just did? She goes, shaking my head. Hold on a minute. Guess what happened? I'm blocked. Blocked. So then he asked Carla, like, what the fuck's going on? He's like... <laughs> I blocked my Facebook or whatever. You blocked your Facebook. She's like, but you messaging me right now. No response. So if you want to, no, right here. Thank you. So if you (laughs) want to take from me in the amount, did you get the fries order and stuff? Thank you, baby. I love you. So if $50 is that important for you to take, like, you some type of dope fiend fucking crack-headed bitch, Ooh. then you go ahead because I'm going to put it all out there. When I gave him the deposit for this tattoo, I did not have to. I gave him $30 for not showing up for a tattoo that I ended up in the ER and did not was unable to make it. I didn't have to do that. I offered it him a not showing up fee which was thirty dollars and then i said i will pay and then he i said he had said that he really needed it and he appreciated it and i said well you know what just to show you that i'm serious i'm gonna go ahead and pay you a deposit on my sleeve for the next tattoo so when i gave him that fifty dollars yes it was for my sleeve but it was out of the goodness of my heart Robert Park, you are not going to get any more big ups on this show. So I did that shit out the goodness of my heart. He did it being a bottom feeding bitch. So you know what? You go ahead, be the jobless bum you are living with your mama as a grown man. And do you keep that $50 because I wipe my ass with it. And if you want to keep it a buck, you owe me $60 too. Oh. Wow. Ooh. So we know why she got blocked. Wow. Maybe that's why. I don't. Maybe oh, that's shit. why. Maybe that's Cause why. Because he still maybe owes he just me a tattoo. Have, maybe he just didn't have the money, and he's like, let me just go ahead and block them right now. And, and the reason why, forget, like, I wanted he my money back. he's probably watching just to see if you bring it up. I wanted <laughs> my money back. Let me tell you something. If you want to get real technical, I don't know about any of his other work. I know he did some nice pieces on y'all, but <laughs> you dug the fuck out of my arm. I got scars in my tattoo. Didn't know about that. If you want to keep it a band. Didn't know about that. Mm. So that's the story. So stay away from Robert Park tax. Shit comes out when uh, you try to be dirty yourself, don't it? So I guess uh, unless you want your skeletons to <laughs> remain in the closet, don't be shitty to good people. Because I'll make sure they come out. This week has been full of Fuckery. realizing that motherfuckers been taking advantage of you Yo. for so fucking long. Yo. I'm telling you. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I don't even want to get into that all here, dude. Yo. Bro, Ms. my Ms. life is crazy. This is some shit this week. Drama. I was drinking on a mountain. This bitch leaves Ohio and everything blows up. Like, she missed everything. My life is crazy. Like, man, bro, man. But anyway, on that note, we 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 recant any good positive things. No, I, you know what? No, I'm not going to say that because he did rock this tattoo out for me. And this tattoo meant a lot to me, and he did do a very good job, and I did cry after it. So I'm not going to take that from him. I 100% am not. But I promise you. Do not go to him and do not give him money until the work is done. Because Robert Park Tats, who worked at Heartbreak Tattoo, 
will not keep his word. And apparently nobody else in that shop does either. <laughs> so if I had known that, I would not have known that had he not did it to me. So I apologize. I think like the, the most for that. confusing part is, is why. Like he was so at, like, did he just that? not want to do the work? Did he not want to pay you the money he owed you? Like, why? We don't why? know. Like, he literally. Why got did you do that? That's just that's shitty. Like, I ain't and gonna did lie. Did you not like, think that? I mean, yeah, we don't have like a huge bunch of people watching, but did you not think that we would talk <laughs> shit about you? <laughs> that's I mean, what we do, <laughs> motherfucker. That's all of Carla's exes. We talk <laughs> shit about them all the time. <laughs> So no, <laughs> no disrespect, you, but we, we do. love you. We love you, but that ain't Rex, though. Well, I'm I'm not saying he <laughs> is, but like, I'm saying like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but you know what? Baja I knew Blast something was grimy cool. because when he left, like it was like she got out. a hug. We ain't even get looked I at. I don't care. But, no, but you know, <laughs> oh, how, you know okay. how like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it just you could just tell like. Like, you can tell who he owed money to in the room. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Said, I'm ignorant. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. We was just like, why? And like, okay. Like, do you think we care? Like, um, you got shoes on from 1986. Hey. Like 1986. No, they were like from 1986, not like. I um, didn't even oh. see that. See, that's how much pay I don't pay attention to people because I don't give a fuck about people that much. I don't give a Facts. fuck about. Oh, people. I am. Listen, Facts. I am such a fucking. I I'm not gonna lie. I'm a shallow bitch, like for real. But like, at what point did he think it was a good idea to just ghost you? <laughs> like, I'm like, saying, was, like, I, I wonder how know. long we all know you're petty. <laughs> I wonder like, how many people like, we actually block. I will block. put all your business out there without thinking about it twice. And even if you're like, and I'm not gonna even say some shit. Okay. But he also told me that he was sleeping with somebody that was married to somebody that was close to me. So I don't know how true that is. So if he want to really keep fucking with me, like we could throw that out there too. I'm just saying. Messy. And I could drop names. Like, I don't this give no fuck. I told messy. you, like, you don't ghost petty bitches. <laughs> like, you just don't do and it. And I'm telling you, the At motherfucker's wife like, that you fuck with, her husband is fucking legit certifiable on paper fucking crazy. You better not. Oh, I should know. We got the same bloodline. Huh? Huh? I'm just saying. So keep fucking with me, bro. And I'm telling you, I'm going to fucking call you out and it's going to get bad for you. Can we sidebar real quick? <laughs> Bitch. Look, I'm getting angry. This is not what the show about. Just let eat me, your taco. Let me eat my taco. <laughs> eat your taco. Just know, Robert Parks, like, you don't, like she said, don't <laughs> piss off petty bitches. It yeah. gets messy. Just messy, like your messy. nasty fucking dirty fucking stained up clothes, you broke ass bitch. Living with your mama ain't got nothing driving a fucking. So how was car. everyone else's? Oh, week? listen, I got my coochie clap when I got home from the hospital, girl. Let me tell you, I'm talking. Did about you die? die? Yes. That's scared this shit out of me. Hold on, not. I hate like sometimes I be feeling bad. <laughs> I looked over at Sam. <laughs> I'm like. Listen, he was playing that while we was getting ready to see if it was good. And she literally was like, that's your phone. Check your phone. I'm like, dude, it's not my phone. And he's <laughs> over here, Tyler. I'm he like, just, did somebody The only reason I, I knew it was him <laughs> is because I look over and he's laughing. And I'm like, like. When you see this in Tyler, you know he is fucking with one Look, of I didn't even like, think to look at him, though. I was over here like, <laughs> I looking at us. is telling me I'm about to die. <laughs> She's looking at us, and I'm just she was like, getting hot, like, what type light. of shit did I smoke? And then she I heard it. <laughs> I'm going home. Uh, this is what cold weather does. You I was see panicking. what I'm saying? I was it's it full no. blown It fucking panicking. freezes your common sense, <laughs> and the stupid shit comes out. This is what happens. I just pulled a muscle on my neck saying that. But, like, this is what happens. Mm. Ow. <laughs> what <Fuck>. happened? <laughs> I had to be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so I'm welcome to Pillow Talk. Alright, starting over. <laughs> no. 
starting over. No, that's what you scared the shit out of me. How was everyone's week? Well, well mine sucked. <laughs> <laughs> mine was pretty wild too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ha can I can we can we real quick? I just want to say like I as us as a show, I want to say like y'all on God, we really appreciate I got so many fucking private messages about Sam and her family last week. It was insane. And I just want to say, like, we joke around about everything. Did my taco hit my phone and close the live? <laughs> <laughs> like, what just happened? I'm sorry. See, I was trying to be serious and my taco fucked it up. But anyway, we would like to appreciate our wait. We would like to say thank you to y'all for really because... Y'all really do, like, care about us, and we appreciate that. And all the thoughts and prayers that you threw her way. Appreciated. Y'all was top notch. We appreciate <coughs> that shit. Still, I, it just, you know, they was appreciated, and that's that. <laughs> What's going on with my phone right now? <laughs> like, I paid my bill. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you, T-Mobile. You want to be another fucking fucking asshole of the week? Because <laughs> let me tell you, I'm on a roll today, bitches. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me go second um, one. You want it? What is this on it? A dog hair? Or coochie hair. Oh, oh no, it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, whose is it? Not David's. David's got... Um, he got dick hair? No, you I'm nasty. <laughs> That's Ahsoka. All right, so anyway, <coughs> she said that's a soca. I came Thanks, home George. from the hospital. <coughs> no, hold on, that is that's a lie. I did not come home from the hospital. <laughs> I mean, I did. I went to the hospital Monday. <gasps> you know what? I think David threw me in the hospital because we had like he knocked it out on Sunday, and I wound up in that bitch on Monday. He in, unless he bit your toe, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> He, he did not put in. You, Do not blame David. But he be gasping for air, grabbing for anything to get to that finishing point. <laughs> and you think he took your toe? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, you you going to hold oh on to God. them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot. They pretty big. You see my feet? You do. You got some long ass toes. Like, I'm just saying, you got you see, you she got some long toes. Remember when we were talking about you hiding behind the couch? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Tell me, sir. Then, look, them fucking kids was being loud as fuck yesterday at Louise's house, right? And, and so we finally got them to lay down, you know what I'm saying? So we go outside. No, we didn't. Just smoke weed. <laughs> we really didn't. God. <laughs> they told us what they were doing. <laughs> Don't get pulled over with her. <laughs> she telling everything. The weed is hers, and she has a card. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, we were smoking outside. So, anyway, we come in, and we're getting paranoid. And somehow the police got mentioned, and we all know Clyde. <laughs> 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 so, he goes. So, the kids was loud, and <laughs> Louise said something like, y'all got to be quiet for the police is called. He said, hold up, yo. He said, straight up, okay? And was like, hold on, we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do the police. Like, <laughs> come on, kids, go to sleep. So he goes in the room, and he's like, listen, y'all, sit down and watch the TV. And I'm like, see, he's so good with kids. They get quiet for a minute, and all of a sudden, you hear him yelling, no boys allowed. Boys stink. Get out. And they shut the door. And he's like, y'all, they told me to go. <laughs> and they pushed me. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> So then I'm like, well, if they come, she says, she says she running over the table. I said, well, listen, she had this big ass I said, pillow. I'm running to the bathroom. The bathroom. They got this big ass pillow with some boxes. So <laughs> I said, you ever see a potato with pretzel sticks stuck on you? Well, I'm jumping over the bed, the, the couch, going under the fucking <laughs> pillow. Oh and all you're going to see is my feet sticking out, right? And you're going to hear, because <laughs> while they talking, the boxes are going to be collapsing under me. <laughs> And they're gonna be like, yeah. "What's that?" And I'll be like, "Ouch, I'm good." Uh, and yeah. then while I was I, just picturing her stuck behind, behind this the couch, couch, in between the boxes, where her legs just sticking <laughs> out. I can't. I can't. And I'm picturing her running down. The <laughs> Why? <laughs> like I just see her pushing. 
kids, get the fuck out of my way to get to the bathroom. And I know where she'd go, right in the shower. <laughs> Like, they ain't going to look in the shower, bro. Why would you <laughs> like, they're in? not going to look at them behind the couch with someone's feet sticking out. It could That's be, almost as stupid as going behind a it, sheer curtain. It could be a <laughs> mannequin <laughs> with a fucked up toe. Oh. Then I, said, I can't. And then I, I would can't. Say, and then I was like, I would tell him to help me, but I would be like, please watch my toe. I cannot. I cannot. I can't leave y'all like fucking kids. It's like I can't leave them unfucking supervised. So hold on. So then we drive into Louise's house, right? And she like almost. <laughs> it was raining and there was puddles in the. In the there ground. was not fucking puddles, bro. You it know, was dark. I don't know all that video. Areas. And I'm like, oh my god, the puddle. And she's like, what puddle? There's no puddles. And I'm there like, a puddle. And why I are they it. driving? <laughs> I'm like, why? Why are they driving right now? Just pull over. You know, certain areas in the freeway, she how the road tripping. be going, so there'll be yeah. a little puddle right there. There was one, and I don't go through them puddles because you can right. hydroplane. So me, here's me. <gasps> it's right there. Let you me hurry up and get over. You ladies are the co- coolest sisterhood I know. Oh, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Who said that? Dry. Uh, G3. Oh. Bro, right. listen. And then she turns on her... Ra- <sighs> listen, I thought we was getting pulled over and they mistaken her car she for She like about beat the shit out of me all day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she turns on her fucking car with some gangster rap, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, I listen to this shit, so I get it. I listen to it loud. But you don't turn it on That's and it be like that. She turns it on, and I grab her arm and almost rip it from its socket as I'm grabbing my phone because I'm thinking we're getting shot up. I'm getting ready to call David to give him our our location to come strap to help hey, us. she grabbed the door handle. I'm like, I was getting out the door. I was getting out the door. I was on the freeway. Where the fuck was you going to go? Well, they ain't shooting me. They're shooting the car. I'm rolling, but I'm going to be good. <laughs> She's going to take her chance. We right. was on the east side at that. <laughs> right. So I'm a big white girl. I'm going to be cool. Like, I'm just saying. I got them curves. I'm all right. I may be gimpy, but I listen, I'm good. You are stupid. I was so gay yesterday. I'm good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is why we don't go nowhere. <laughs> this is why. So anyone else die? <laughs> no. What? What else you got? I work. What'd you do now? What did I do? <laughs> what, did, what did we do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> we got that. I don't know what happened. What? I was in the hospital all week. And I listen, this happened in a matter of like 48 hours. It don't sound like it, but it, why are we looking at toxic relationships? What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I am not toxic. <laughs> you are totally toxic. Yeah. Shit. I bet you. I am not toxic either. I don't think so. um. (laughs) (laughs) What? Everybody looked at me? (laughs) I did not. I looked straight ahead. (laughs) She just went. (laughs) I don't think you're the bad toxic, and we've had that conversation. Yeah. And if I am, I don't give a fuck no more. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Fuck it. Do you do <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, I'm gonna start with Rachel first, cause uh, did you see yeah, her I post? Her baby is in the hospital. No, I didn't. They're see checking that. him, the newborn, for meningitis. Aww. So, pr- thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Hello, wifey. Thoughts and prayers to know. Rachel. Uh, you could check her out at www.blissfulandblessed.com. Or you can check her out at Blissful and Blessed on Facebook. Go ahead and sign up for her text alert. She will get notified anytime she does wall drops or lives. Her flows are cute as fuck. I be, ooh, mm, not this. I got this on Sheen. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I am such a Sheen whore. I heard it. I can't. <laughs> it's so it's so not. bad. Clyde was, was so pissed off at me when this big box came. He's like, what's that? I said, nothing. Extra inventory from Overstock. <laughs> it was like 65% It was off. a gift. I don't know. I yeah. need a sugar daddy so he can give me some credit cards and stuff. I was drunk the other I night. I need more And stuff. I must have ordered. Like I said, I woke up and I had an email confirmation for an order. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> here, here come more summer clothes. <laughs> Did you get in trouble? No. Okay. I don't get in trouble. Okay. 
bitch, she didn't say nothing though. He don't know yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> This was but Saint I don't Patrick's get in Day. trouble. This was St. Patrick's Day, I bet you. What? Was it St. Patrick's Day? No, this was the other day. Oh, when I was in West Virginia. <laughs> oh, and she was out of state doing it. I was. I couldn't sleep because, like, oh, everyone goes to bed early. You done told her yourself because he asked you when the show was starting. Yeah, he watches. Oh, you just fucked up. He don't care. He don't care. I don't know I, nothing. <laughs> I don't even know what Sheen is. She He's in. not gonna care. <laughs> she if in. you're watching, you're not. Tell them you're not gonna care. No, nah, I just I haven't care. told them yet. Cause well, I don't care either. He just he'll just be like, oh look, new boxes. <laughs> It'd be just I like, almost drunk bought a fucking coach purse, so he'll be happy <laughs> that I got the sheen order. <laughs> right. I got fries. Yeah. <clears throat> so nobody died. No. I probably didn't. Don't remember. I don't know. I do. <laughs> And then I went to the hospital the next day. I we tried to do it in the hospital bed, but he be scared. I just be like, stick it in my butt real quick. <laughs> <laughs> now you want it She's lying. Butt? I swear. And he just be like, nah, babe, they going to walk in. Them motherfuckers walk in all the time. You think they ain't never caught nobody fucking? It's probably the cleanest place to have sex. I doubt that. Listen, they check every orifice. I'm pretty sure it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> they cut. Listen, I was so mad. They're looking at your toe and they're looking in your ball. They need to go away. Like that's. Uh, I think. Well, I don't know who I was on the phone with. They knocked on my door one day. I said, "Listen, you motherfuckers, bro, get the fuck out of my room unless you coming in here with some type of medication, some IV fluids, or IV something. Get the fuck out." I'm mad. Mad. So yeah, we almost did, but we did it on Sunday. Like. Sunday. <laughs> he's supposed to be Sunday. sleeping right now because he's got to work. So I'm going to go home and die right on his face. <laughs> uh, if he dies, he dies. I do that. I, you know, I'd be fucking with I won't go to work kid. tomorrow. I told my kid, he was like, and I don't know what the fuck he said. He said something. I was like, oh, I was fried. And he was laughing at me, right? Him and his little fucking friend. That's my baby, though. He like my, He's like my other son. So he is my son. Like, <coughs> I treat him like my son. And I was like, hi. So I was hungry. So they were making me like food because I was fucked up. I couldn't move or whatever. So <laughs> I was sitting there, right? And I said something. And Bub was like, Ma, slow down. I'm like, you know what? You don't talk to me that way. You came out of my uterus. And he's like, you don't have a uterus. I said, but I did. And I said, did you hear me get my ass cheek slapped? He's like, why do you keep asking me that? It's so gross. <laughs> I said, you said know. trying to weigh you at 4 a.m. They come in the room, try to weigh you at 4 a.m. Ah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> because I refuse to eat. Their little fucking nasty glue cerna. I'm getting my appetite back, though, because I've been off chemo, but that shit's about to die soon. I ain't eating nothing. I ain't spit. But anyway, so we are talking about when should you ask your partner starting a new relationship when should you ask how many people you slept with right so <laughs> they say this is from health.com they say the foundation of a relationship is honesty but should you limit things between you and your partner they say yes they say the number of past sexual partners is not relevant if that is our make or break question, you should walk away now. Y'all agree? Uh, <coughs> no. I don't tell people. Like that ain't I none of your fucking business. I, I think, think when I was like younger, that's something yeah. I cared about, but I wouldn't really give a shit now. You know, I mean that's like if I want to know, it's just me being okay, curious. Do do? It's just me being curious because I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> but like I'm just, I don't even <coughs> care because I think I just get mad. What'd like, she do? I don't even know what I she did. I just smacked the shit out. Yeah, like she's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I went to move your microphone. And, like, I think that's kind of stupid because, like, some women want to know for the protection. I mean, Who but, like. Who cares as long as I'm the only one he is with now? See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Baby, ain't nobody always the only one. What? Sorry. What? <laughs> That's just how I feel. What you mean? 
Huh? What you mean? You said not always the only one. What no. Cause how how do you know? Huh? How do you know if you're the only one? Oh, I know. Well, you're married, and we all know that. But it's serious. <clears throat> How do you know? How do you know? You just have to assume you. God dang. <laughs> you just have to <laughs> assume you are. But I, just, I think that that's something it. like I can get going like into a young, like a younger generation yeah. asks that kind of question. Mm-hmm. I don't think that it's. Is relevant later it? on. I mean, I don't care how many. Because at some if I'm point, like I said, if I'm right. asking, it's just me being nosy, so right. I can make fun of you. Ugh, whore, <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> I don't right. care. Oh, okay. Shit. Sorry, y'all. I don't know. These French fries are good. <laughs> I was running late. So Nacho I fries are back. All right, we're good. All right. Okay. They also say. Transparency and honesty is a building block for a healthy relationship. Jennifer Wisner says, she's a doctor, (coughs) says, making a decision to share past sexual relationships and exploits is one to consider carefully. Before you approach your partner and ask, think about what you're asking. If your motive is curiosity, and get to your if your motive is curiosity and to get to know them better, you might be in a solid mindset to have this conversation. If you're likely to get jealous or judgy, probably me, about how many or how few partners they've had, it's a good idea to skip the question. Once you know that information, you can't <coughs> unknow it. You <coughs> feeling hurt un- or uncomfortable when you do know, which happens when people find out and they are put in that position by themselves. They did it. I had I had told Josh he was a hoe when I found out how many he had. I told David he lying, so... I don't care what he said, cause I know his timeline, and he just would, yeah, mm-mm. you don't, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not putting his business out there, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. You can't do that many women when you can't. <laughs> just saying. Just I be telling Devin too, like, how, how are you in the triples? I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. <coughs> but she I like feel like whore, asking so. someone that you're <coughs> I think it's juvenile for, like confrontation. You know what I mean? I think it's very juvenile. Mm-mm. I don't care. <laughs> I think it's juvenile. <coughs> I'm not going to say David and I have not discussed it cuz we have, but I'm I just mean saying. if you've been in a relationship with someone for a significant amount of time, you're going to have that question. Right. Mm-hmm. But Eventually, starting out, but like when, like first date, how many people have you slept with? Right, right. Yeah, I used to ask that when I was fucking kid. Yeah, I don't ask that. Yeah, no. <coughs> it's human nature to <coughs> be hungry for details about things that really don't make a difference and only serve to inflame our anger or envy and envy. It really is. I agree with that statement. Right. I was like, oh, I like that. Cause if it's gonna make me mad, I'm gonna s- I'm gonna do it or say it. That's facts. Often, the aggrieved partner will want to know every detail about every interaction, and it's rarely helpful to the relationship or to either person's emotional state. And that is me right there. Cause I will want to know, like, how, where, where were you at, mm-hmm. like, where, like, how, like. I know for a Do fact. Do I compare to those? I women? always live by if you don't want your feelings hurt, don't fucking ask. Don't ask. Absolutely. Don't ask. go looking for shit you don't want to yeah. know. But I then, like, it. there's something always in me that tells me to go look for it, and I know what I'm looking for, <laughs> and I know <laughs> it's there. That's your little toxic buddy. That's what that and is. And I be knowing it's there. So now I just, you know, I be, 
I'm psycho, kind of. Cause, like, but you know what, though? In all fairness, like, I know he's not doing anything, but anytime, like, his messenger or something goes off, I know in my head exactly who it is, but I'm like, who the fuck's messaging you? Yeah. But, like, inside, I'm like, just don't even say anything. Don't even say anything. Let me find this motherfucker cheating. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, I know he's not, but I'm still, it's just, if he don't answer his phone, well, it's probably with his girlfriend. See, and she called me toxic. <coughs> Who? Yeah. But, I mean, that's just my nature. Toxic. My nature. I am toxic. <laughs> See? She Whatever. right with us. We just straightforward with it. I don't hide it. I don't either. He knows I'm toxic. <laughs> I hide certain <laughs> shit, but I'm not like because I'm always toxic. planning shit in my head, so motherfuckers don't ever know. Cause don't ever think you got one up on me. Facts. I'm smart <laughs> as fuck when it comes to shit for yeah, real. <laughs> I made that mistake. I've one been doing time. this shit. I made that mistake one time. I promise you, all my eggs are not in one basket anymore. I promise you. I'll be cooling. I will be straight if shit goes south again. I be just cool and be free. Damn. That ain't me. That ain't me. Okay. <laughs> it says, the same applies when asking about your significant other's former bedmates. I'm guessing this is, you know. This simple question can snowball into a more intrusive queries. And that is so true because there is this one ex he had. And they had, like, a five-year, like, relationship. So he'll be like, I don't do this with other chicks. And I'm like, you was with so-and-so for five years, living in the same fucking house, and you ain't do this? He be trying to tell me, no. You are such a fucking liar, bro. <laughs> you are such a liar. That shit did not go on for five years. Toxic. You, no, You're listen, the toxic Avenger. It did not go on for five years, and you ain't make a fucking pancake. Don't play with me. But you don't know. Like, they could have ate ramen every day. Okay, but he made it. I don't even do that because I don't believe any of his exes are better than me. <laughs> or nah. anybody's, you I know. Ain't none of his exes better Not better, better or they can, you know, they they haven't did this for you. Because I just always feel like I'm always doing more. Yeah. And you should feel that way. That he makes fuck you feel with better. dope fiends. Oh. So I'm. She's like, I can be oh. at my worst and I'm still good. So I <laughs> yeah. already know I'm up here. Them bitches is down right. here. Right. And his ex-wife was just unaddressed. So. And she watches this sometimes. Ooh. She was just in a dress. Can't even like your kids. Okay. Well, that's whatever. <coughs> anyway, uh, if your partner, <laughs> Teddy, she popping in my inbox. <coughs> if your partner doesn't give you more details and feeds your needs to know, you might resort to snooping around on social media or through old text, which is a huge violation of trust. Listen, I do. <laughs> I sir, I Why asked the fuck them. They do that. I know. I was like the one time I'm like, okay, so you got all these Facebook and, and you friends with yourself, but you don't go on them. Like, I don't understand. And he was like, well, I had to make a new one. Every uh, yeah, he had to make new ones. Because he forgot the password. <laughs> Oopsie. What? He just had to make new ones because he forgot the password. Okay. He went out of town. Just forgot. <laughs> he liked the idea. But he gone. <laughs> In two ways. <laughs> so yeah, I asked Snoop to his social media, like, uh, hold on, and then it goes into, oh, well, let me Google this right quick, and then it goes, huh, let me go ahead and add this keystrokes to your phone. Oh, hold on, we gonna go ahead and get this citizens app, so I know bleep where you at at all times. I be turning mine off though. He don't know how to do that. He don't know how See, to. See, that's like, like too much. Oh no, like, oh no, he needs to be watched like that. For me, I mean, I'm not saying for you. For me, that's too much. Because if you can't give someone their own time, their own space, their privacy, then you, in my mind, you don't trust them, and that's just not a healthy fucking relationship at all. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, 
I do. That's just my opinion. My opinion. I, I trust him. But take it or leave it. He needs to be watched. But your own toxicity. Not really. Watched. Won't <laughs> won't let him go. Be gone for ten minutes without knowing where he is. Oh uh, no, I don't check that shit. Oh and God, do I ever? Do I ever call him when I'm when I'm? Who calls who? He usually calls them. Well, I know that. Him. Like, I was with her one day. Oh, my God. She was so mad. I wasn't mad. I'm just like, dude, does does he think we're out, like, fucking Bro. slinging dick? Like, we're literally in the middle of Amish country buying fucking cheese. No, it was, like, every half hour. It was so bad. So bad. But I, I have to, in his defense, <laughs> in his so defense he does it a lot because, like, my health and stuff. So he worries. Like, he wasn't supposed to be here tonight, but he's here. And he got tacos. So he got tacos. So I can't like be upset. He's he's very good to me, and he and I and at least I know that. No, I'm not saying it like, like you should be. No, no, I'm, I'm just letting like these people know that it's not like <coughs> we are like. Like it's I'm not like they're toxic at, at all. Like <laughs> there's reasons behind it. So, and he just gets lost a lot. So I need to have like facts. His location is on because I need to know where he's at at all times. I will never forget <laughs> when he got lost following the ambulance with you in it. Around the corner. Around the corner. It wasn't even around the corner, bro. It's straight. Right into no, the No, it's lot. literally, you're here. Ten houses. They're there, and I'm in the parking lot like, where are you at? He's like, oh, I got lost. Ten houses. I'm like, This oh. is why I need GPS But there's on a lot ass. of, yeah, poor dude. <laughs> he don't get it. He tries to say we live in the country, but whatever. Anyway, I'm sorry, babe. We'll be done talking about you, but you are a little on the dumb side. You know what I'm saying? When it comes he's to directions. He's dumb. He's just. Uh, no, dun dun dun. Uh, when his directions, <laughs> like, I have. <laughs> I need to know where he's at at all times because if I get a call, like, I'll tell you what. I can't tell you how many times I get a call while he's on the job. Babe, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. And I lost GPS signal. I'm like, what? I've heard it. She was rolling the one day. She was like, are you, see how is he in Parma if he's got to be in Cleveland? I'm like, bro, I don't even know. <laughs> and I'm trying to explain him. Turn right. On the whole opposite side of the town. Uh, with GPS. He just kept driving. Yeah. He tried to say, routing. Uh, <laughs> dude, whatever. Okay. Him and Devin get lost. Yeah, and then him and Devin. All the way on the east side way. Like, I'm talking by. On the their way here, she just said. Talking to the dolphin. Or I'm talking, like, by the dolphin building, the water building. <laughs> They're supposed to be headed to fucking Sheffield. They're by the dolphin building. What dolphin? The on the, the, with the, the whale the on it? The oh, whale. by the, the, um. And they were by Spy yeah, by Nails. The airport? That yeah. airport? Like yeah. Airport? Spy Nails, y'all. Go look them up. They and Parma. <laughs> Yo, they, she like slayed the fuck out of me. This <laughs> man. And, and they closed at 5 o'clock and she fucking told me to come in at 530. Stayed open because she knew I was in the hospital. And she ain't know like if it was like something where I couldn't be around people. So she closed, made sure she was closed. There was one person in there, so they was trying to push her out, but they made sure I was clo they was closed. They're in on uh, York Road, Cleveland. Uh, Spy Nails, Lee and Christy, check them out. Okay, <coughs> so uh, Jennifer says, a more productive question might be about STD testing and making sure you're both tested before getting into bed with one another. Now, here's my question. <laughs> okay, listen, with this, okay? Now... I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I've had sex with someone, and my first question is, hey, have you had an STD? Like, how do you even, like, approach that subject? Why not? That shit, honestly, in the real world, you that should. question comes after the first time you have sex. Like, usually it, like, like so, and I'm just, but I'm. I mean, but there's nothing wrong with asking. No, like, no have you I'm ever not been saying. Tested? I'm have saying, you ever like, people really should follow, mm -hmm. like. So many, when I read that, I'm like, you know, that does make, like, And that's you why should. you're not supposed to start having sex young. Like, we, a lot of people aren't really taught this stuff. Right. Or they weren't taught to be such a lady, like, to think this way. 
Like, I think people are embarrassed when it comes to this. If you're embarrassed to yeah, ask the person you're too. about to sleep with, you probably hey, shouldn't yeah. sleep. You shouldn't um, be doing it. Yeah, that yeah. is a main thing, too. Like, if you're embarrassed, yeah. there should be no question on is this right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, for I want to know how dirty your dick is. I think more people should be more open Fact. about sex. And as I teach my kids. Even with, like, younger. Mm-hmm. I think the parents. I think it's parents. Like, Parents are so quick to say, you better not fucking have sex until you're married. And, like, I don't know how many times I hear that. And, yes, I was that parent. But when my son started dating, I realized that that's not going to work. I need to educate him Mm -hmm. and make sure that, okay, this is going to happen. So I need to make sure he is aware, he is safe, and he knows what's up. So this is what's going to happen. Before you stick your dingling anywhere, there's a drawer with some rubbers in it. I'm going to go ahead and need you to use those. See, I always teach my son. And please shave your dick like here because crabs jump. One Thank thing you. I tell William all the time, consent. Because Absolutely. these little bitches will do you dirty. Always, always. Like that is the one thing I put in his head. Consent and rubbers. Because yes. I'm telling you, these bitches will be like, oh, I'm They're on a dirty. pill and all this mm-hmm. other. Uh-uh. My daughter cringes every time I talk to her about sex, but it's like, cringe all you fucking want. You right. need to I don't hear care. It's yeah. not just, oh, I don't want you to get pregnant. I don't want right. you to get pregnant. I don't want you to get herpes. I don't want you to get HIV. I don't want you to get, you know, mm. all this stuff. I don't. There, There's more to it than just not getting pregnant. Mm-hmm. It's. I lost my virginity and every time she's to like, my baby I don't daddy, do and I went crazy for him. My cup is trippy. You feel me? Like, that's something personal. Yeah. Losing your virginity is definitely something personal. At least for females it is. I just I listen, I told my son, I said, listen, I don't care if she says I don't know. Stop. Mm-hmm. Stop. I don't care if Retreat. anything else <laughs> other than treat. are you sure? And if anything mm-hmm. else comes out of her mouth other than Y E S, pull the dick back. Go home, jack off, and call it a night. Mm. Do not, because bitches will have a phone in their pocket nowadays. No. There's a dude right now, a high school kid that just got sentenced. Five years. Five years, and there were witnesses. And the bad part is, is most of these females that do this do it because they cheated and... They were scared. I to do. Get it's brand new. So they you run ain't never that, heard you know? of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. It's green, so it doesn't come up green. Wisner uh-huh. says the number of partners might not matter, but any infections brought into the new relationship will, obviously. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you can't. Right. Wait, what does it say? It says, she says that the number of partners might not matter, but any infections brought into the relationship will. Mm -hmm. The new relationship, that is. Don't forget, your partner will probably ask you the exact same question, so be sure you're ready to reveal your roster. Brace yourself if your partner reads. That's your phone. If your partner reads or wants to read and wants you to reveal, I don't like that. (laughs) (laughs) That is not a fact. (laughs) Moving on. It says that if your partner wants you to reveal your list that's not your problem but do you or do you not because you don't want to upset them so basically but, hold if on, you but ask I them and then they tell you and they ask you and you're like no right but then she says so i think this should be avoided completely because you don't want a problem right that i didn't think so that is so funny because like the whole list thing so you know children me a couple years ago (laughs) quite a few years ago so um i had when i was in like a real bad relationship with one of my daughter's sperm donors he he made me write a list of everybody's name that i fucked 
And, you know, my first baby daddy thought I was just this angel. And he would always cheat on me, always cheat on me. Eventually, I got tired of it. So every time he would cheat on me and we would break up, I would go fuck somebody else. So he never knew about these people or I would deny it. You know, I was really good at lying. So (laughs) (laughs) I made this list for this, you know, my other baby daddy. And he got mad at me and he he took the list and gave it to my other baby daddy. (laughs) (laughs) Oops. This man still to this day says I ruined (laughs) his life (laughs) and brings that list up. (laughs) You thought you was playing somebody. Boy, I was playing you the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Fucked around and found out. (laughs) Now your life is miserable. (laughs) That's funny. You Fat know, fucking like bald bitch. <laughs> 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 like, we should have a segment where we're just like, we can't do, like, the fuck you person of the week because, like, the bearded bastards do that. But, like, we constantly check as somebody on this show. Like, I'm telling you, like, I promise you one person at least fucks me over, like, <laughs> once a week, and I just check their ass. Like, just let's be clear. And, and I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I am petty as fuck. As fuck. I will put out your mama's business. Yeah, Miami. If you fuck me over in any way, I do not care. And I don't care. And don't. Do not care. I do not care if it's and your don't. grandma, your mama, your sister. And don't think. We won't pull up. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I will. But that's why I don't really... Fuck with people. I don't get in drama either, but I pull up. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> put I don't up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not around enough people to even uh, anymore. I don't put myself in situations. I really don't. Like I associate with y'all fucking crazy motherfuckers for real, for real, and like wifey and like maybe. But like you know, a whole fuck ton she, of shady ass people. She's like, and and just so like since we've been back, you know. In our, everybody thing. brings their drama to her. Yeah. She be knowing all the tea. Yeah, all yeah. the fuck. Oh, he's gonna come up with some shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, it'd be crazy, crazy. But anyway, okay. The bottom line is, if you feel confident that the number of past hookups they've had won't make waves in your relationship, feel free. It won't, cause I'm better. To ask, I'm, I'm saying, to ask. Sharing the info can be a way to grow closer, but. If you um, if you imagine a a too high or too low number, and both kind or <coughs> you're about to sneeze, <laughs> or both kind, or you are the wig out kind, you better not go there. That's me. Don't go there. In the end, a sexual tally sheet will certainly not enhance the relationship, says Jennifer Wiseman. I do. <laughs> Honesty and safe sex practices in your current relationship will. Boo. That is so funny. I be ghostlighting myself. I just realized that. Listen. Because <laughs> I know if you don't want to know, don't go looking. But I look. That's me. Just to figure it out. And then I add to it. See, I do And then I make way. things make sense when they didn't make sense at the time. <laughs> See, I be I do gaslighting that. myself. I don't do that now, but I did it with my ex. Mm. Found out something every time. Every time, because we ain't stupid. (laughs) But anyway, I also went to Healthline.com. Now, this is some interesting shit. I asked, uh, searched the average number of sexual partners in men and women. You ready? What do y'all think? average number of partners in the u.s for men and women is at like oh. what age didn't say just oh. I, i'm guessing men and women adults i know bitches and i know dudes that fuck at least a dude or three a week damn, oh, damn. <laughs> like i just know people that do shit like that so what would you say the average? I don't know because I'm gonna go between five and twenty five. I bet you it's like women are worse than men. <laughs> right. I, I can bet women are worse than men in that paper. Well we get further than that. We get into that. How many would you say? On average yearly? Just on average. as a lifetime average. Lifetime? Yes, a lifetime. 
Um, this really ain't like sixty. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Bitch, what? Seven people. <laughs> Seven. See, I said between five and twenty-five. She did. She did. She did. For she who? Men and women. Average. Combine, like both of them. No. no. Men get seven and women no. get seven. No. Like what? No. It made me <laughs> feel very bad. <laughs> right. I'm over here trying to make excuses. <laughs> I don't think I'm at sixty yet. I'm pretty sure I'm not. But okay. damn. Okay. A UK-based health and beauty retailer asked two thousand men and women. These questions. In the U.S. and Europe, they explains they explain their thoughts on the actual numbers. In average, is based on age, gender, and location. When it came to average, normal quote unquote doesn't exist. Sexual history varies. Ready? Now, this is breaking it down by certain states. How many sexual partners on average has Louisiana reported? I thought you were going to say Louise. (laughs) (laughs) My eyes were like, (laughs) I want to see that close up on stone. I want to see that close up out there. I uh. did for a second. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, wait, what are you doing? How many on average? <laughs> Tyler over there. Well, I re- re-question that. Because re- <laughs> get you through my whole vibe off. <laughs> on average, how many people... Hold on. In Louisiana. In Louisiana were reported... Were reported for having sexual partners between men and women. I'm not even saying that's a number. I don't I even made myself understand that. What you mean? I don't understand. What is the it. average partner between men and women in Louisiana? Oh, well, I don't. Reported? I don't. I, I, do they fuck more in Louisiana? You said twelve. Nine. Do fifty-two. <laughs> fifty-two. <laughs> Actually, Tyler was closest. It was fifteen. So what yeah, they do in Louisiana? Hold up! What they do in Louisiana that we don't do? Close enough. Tennessee is close enough, ain't it? No. <laughs> oh. Well, y'all Not know. At all. I that's don't know. that's listen, the highest sexual state. No. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Search that. What's the what's, the, what's highest the highest sexual I state? Who I got the most. Oh, you sex? do? I do. Ooh, oh. I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be like California. Or Florida. So then I Probably. then then and then Texas. I got okay. Utah reported two two of the differences make sense. Over sixty two percent of Utah residents are members of the Church of Latter Day Saints, which they promotes abstinence until week. marriage. The United Kingdom averages seven sexual partners in a lifetime. Italy averaged five, which is shocking to me. I don't know why. According to the survey, 41.3% of men and 32.6% of women admitted to lying to their sexual of uh, about their sexual history. <laughs> of course more men lie. <laughs> like I'm like, is that a fucking shocker? <laughs> I kind of felt good about that because when I read the average number in the U.S., this kind of made it all better because we were on the less side. So I kind of feel like now that I'm on the lesser side here, things are better. <laughs> <laughs> so and fucking men. <laughs> fucking men. No, fucking men made us. Ha ha. Okay. Overall, men were more likely to increase their... Now, this is so fucking true. I just said this about you, Clyde. Overall, men were more likely to increase their number of sexual partners, whereas women were more likely to decrease it. What do y'all think about that? Like throughout their lifetime? Yes. I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to change up what the website says. 
It just says that do this specific survey that was done says that men were more likely to in lie by increasing their number of sexual partners and women were more likely to decrease. Oh, so like they were lying about how many right. people they've so, been okay, with. Right, so okay, say like okay. I fuck 20 people and I'm like, well, I fuck 10. Oh, yeah. And guys yeah, yeah, will yeah, only yeah. have like well, one or true. two. Yeah. I don't, uh, from a men's point of view. See, that's very what I true. was thinking. And that's very kind of true. fucked up. Facts. Yep. It's like, yeah. Yep. Yeah, see, I yeah. agree with that. See, this is why we need Diver here. Okay. But even females say that about own women. So. Uh, but I think there's still, like, some, because this is obviously just as, fe- like, 2,000 I don't care what people, anyone else's coochie does. Yeah, facts. I would never, like, I would never go to Sunflower. Ooh. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I call her Sunflower, y'all. Oh, uh, I'm like. I'm, you've Have done I? that before. Knows, right? right. Have I? Yeah. You actually said it, like, on air before. You're like, that's my little sunflower. Yeah. Uh, I've asked her about these shoes, too, like, 800 times. I just literally don't remember. Ever since them fucking things, I just don't remember. Okay, so still 5.8% of women to 10. I got size 8s in the car. If anybody knows a woman in a size 8, they're really nice. Oh, she's still talking about them damn shoes. Uh, They're still in my car. What kind are they? Expensive ones. Did you already show them the little? She took some. Oh, never mind. And like clothes. Like, did she show you the clothes? Yeah, some of them. Oh, the Fendi glasses. M- moving on. But they lost. Okay, anyway, still 5.8% <laughs> of women to the 10.1% of men admitted to both increasing and decreasing depending on the circumstances. Emily, don't say I what this I don't give a thing. fuck. I'm going to tell you what I think my numbers are around, and you take it or leave it. I don't give a fuck. She said what I think my numbers are around. I got other colors, too. Again, like, that to me is I do. something juvenile. Yeah. Like, Cause who gives a fuck? I just think, like, when, when you're you a teenager, uh, that matters. Yeah. Like, how would you feel? Because you're in the dating pool right now. So how would you feel as a man if a woman was like, well, how many people have you been with? And this is, like, your third or fourth date. said 10 people see that's not bad though no. that's, that's that's one that's, that's one actually good year hey, you had a long-term relationship in between there though see so technically i mean you was with the same girl for six years so you gotta account for that so that's that's pretty good yeah. right now, if she told you, Tyler like you getting were, a you were meeting somebody, you just met somebody, you're on your first, second date, whatever, and she's like, hey, blanket is the truth, yo. I've been with 50 guys. Ooh. If she's but clean, what would though. bother you, whether or not she's been tested, whether, you know, that, that you have less experience than her? Wouldn't you just be like, oh, my God, I'm going to get me a throat goat. <laughs> you know, she's got to know something if she's See, been done it 50 times. David. I wasn't good enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? I was like, Clyde was telling me his numbers, and I'm like, okay. So, so you I was asked. scared. No, he told me. Like, I don't even know how the conversation happened. One of his friends had added me. And he was like, well, he loves you so much, and I've never seen him love somebody like you, and he's been with hundreds of bitches, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, okay, so he's been with hundreds of bitches, and he picking me, so... He didn't, so I don't get it. 
tour. Right. So, <laughs> right. Like, I don't get it. Whatever. Anyway, eight percent of respondents said they ended a relationship if their partner had too few sexual partners. So say like it comes you, with experience. So if you say went on a date with somebody and you started dating and the sex started coming into a relationship and they said, I haven't been with nobody, what would you do? I as a woman with a man, I don't think I can be with a virgin. Nope. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-mm. I'm too fat to be teaching people. Like I'm just saying. No, because I'm gonna just lay there and let you do your thing. Like, right, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be embarrassed and out of breath. I don't, I don't. And need then that I'm gonna never. I call need somebody you again. with experience that can like lift my legs. But what if like they around. were a virgin and it was like the best sex you ever had? Well, I'm not gonna find out because I wouldn't be with a virgin. I'd probably suck them first just to see if I can take. Like I broke off a whole engagement because let me let me see. Okay, so <laughs> she like said a whole she did. I did in front of a whole bunch of people. It was so bad. Like he tried to get in my pants, and I swear to God, this happened. You can ask her. We was having all of our friends over. He tried to get in my pants. I felt down there, and I'm like, "What the fuck <laughs> is this little fucking buckeye ball?" I and I was just like, "Is this for real right now?" <laughs> and he, and was, he like, was so nice, though. I hope what? I never. And then he, like, you know what he said to me in the driveway when I. So I'm like, I got to give you this ring back. Don't, He's like, don't put him out there. He like passed away now. So. Okay, so what does that got to do with his small you can't penis? Talk bad about <laughs> people. So anyway, well, it happened. So oh, it's not like I'm lying. Man. So he was like, I could, I could get a surgery to enlarge it. No, you can't unless they like get like the Jolly Green Giant's thumb. It's not going to happen. And a penis pump will not blow up like that. So I'm going to have to let you go. So he walks into my mom's house, sits in the corner, and cries. He did. You ain't shit. She wasn't shit. <laughs> she wasn't shit. But he did die. And we're all sitting there like. He did pass away from a heart attack. So rest in peace. He probably should have went on that diet. Like I said, don't take care of yourself. He was mean to me, though. He he wanted in our wedding we wasn't allowed to have alcohol or dancing. He said, "Well, and you said he had a small dick." No, nah, it was his religious belief. And then he said my friends were ghetto, and then um, we were ghetto. That he didn't want my family there because they was all crazy. We are fucking crazy. Yeah, but he not allowed to and say ghetto. That. But he not allowed to say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So like the small penis just solidified. <laughs> I should not be with you. And he was ugly anyway. I hope I never have to, like, run into something like that. You don't want to run into something like that. Like, I did it when I was younger, and I never, like, really said anything. But, like, me, who I am now. (laughs) Oh, God. He was a fucking piece of shit, bro. He was a piece of shit. He turned into such a piece of shit. Mm. Anyway. So, women said 1.9% was too conservative, while 2.3% of men said the same. Could you be with, like, so hold on. If somebody's conservative, what would that mean, like, in the bed? It means I'm going to lift my nightgown while you crawl out of your bed, crawl into mine. You can do your duty, and then I'll put my nighty back down and crawl back into my bed while you're in your bed. Do people still do that? I don't know. Probably. But I'm assuming that's what conservative means, like no anal, no oral. Like, because there's a guy, and I'm just, um, there's a guy I work with, and he's a Jesus freak. So I'm not going to say any names. <coughs> but well, this whole episode is going to hell. We be. It is. Like, but, I like, he. About a, I literally just talked about a dead man. He has never gotten a blowjob. So, like, the guys. What? Okay, we're all in the room, and everyone's oh, talking about, you know, different God. stuff. And he, he just randomly says that that's something he, he would never make his wife do. And I'm like, why? And he was like, because I wouldn't waste my seed. And I'm like, hold on. Hold on. What do you mean you wouldn't waste? He's like, it's semen is supposed to be for reproducing only. So, like, okay. in, in a lot of so these. So do you have to create a baby every time he has sex? No, but that's supposed to be the point. So, like, there would be no anal, no oral. And that's, like coming from a lot of these new age newer age i said should say churches and is that's like frowned upon 
So that's probably what it means by like being conservative mm-hmm. is like not thinking outside the box. So no. has he never had, yeah. has it been like, yeah, like old school, like I'm going to pull so my nighty up while pa crawls over me. And <laughs> has it been no oral since he joined the church or no, I think that like what he was saying, he's been with his wife, like his wife's the only person he's ever been with for both of them. Well, no, I don't think it's for both Sucks of them. I think she you. had other stuff happen to her when she was young. But, but um, oh my god, yeah. Now I feel bad asking if she sucked dick. No, <laughs> like, and that's what I like. That's like what they the were war. saying. Like, you would never. And it was like me and a couple older women and a couple older guys. We were all talking in a group. And how do you get yourself in these conversations? You don't know, it's not just me. Like it's Why him. Why does it never hurt? Because he always brings up dumb shit. And anyone I work with, if you're watching this, a fifth, <laughs> if you're watching <laughs> this, I don't want to say his name. Well, them conversations. But he works done now. with me. <laughs> he works no in more. my area. Thank Y'all you. know exactly who I'm talking that about. No <laughs> it will, because he always says the dumbest shit to people. Well, sir, and they're always like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy?" You need to get your wife's throat adjusted, and I promise you, you gonna plant no. that seed. It's too late now. To up her I'm protein levels and give her energy. Even facials, it's cheap, it's free. Cause there were like people at right work telling skin. him like, "Just go home and shove your dick in her mouth," and he was like, "I could never." And I was just like, "Why?" They're gonna traumatize that man. He's already traumatized. He, he's a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. Great guy. Great I am so like I. But really never fucking weird. Tyler, have you <laughs> had have you've had head right? He said, "I know what that feels like." How can you not like if he had it one time, dude? Yeah. I bet you he would come to work. He's completely. never. He said he's never had it, but she has. Like you he's give done it to it. her. Yeah. I don't, I'm like, but your your seed doesn't get up there I that way. I wish David <laughs> would say, I'm going to eat your pussy. You ain't got to suck my pussy. Hey, I bet one. you she's the one putting that shit in his head. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That sounds fishy But like a lot of, and I don't want to blame Christians. I'm not. But a lot of them say that, that sex is supposed to be an act between man and woman. Yada, yada, yada. To reproduce. Um, yeah, but that's 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 what they're coming back with in these new age churches is, you know, anal is just not. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's the devil's playground. Absolutely, oh, it's definitely the devil's playground. That's the devil's you. playground. No oral because it it just. I it's couldn't a imagine my life without oral or anal. Yeah, I don't get it. I can't. But yeah. I guess if you've never had it, you don't necessarily know what you're missing. I guess. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Sorry, sir. 30% That's say... That's just what conservative sex is in my, in my eyes. Right. 30% said they would end a relationship if their partner had too many partners. I don't know about that. Because I'm with a whore. I'm with a whore. So, it is what it is. Women are generally more flexible than men when it comes to their partner's sexual history. <coughs> Viewing 15% as too promiscuous, men said they prefer a partner with 14 or less American men and women agree seven partners are ideal. What do y'all be finding these bitches saying? <laughs> what happened? <gasps> it looks so weird <laughs> on the screen. Like, I don't know what she pulling out her bag next. I don't want to see it. Look. Like, look at her face, <laughs> bro. <laughs> she I am so amused right now. I forgot where I was. American men agree and wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. American men and women agree seven partners are ideal. France says ten. 
30% of respondents thinks it is appropriate to talk about your sexual history with in the first month of your relationship and always ask about STDs before having any sexual relationships. I mean, that's the time to ask is before. Right. You don't go and suck a dick and then say, hey, have you ever had an HIV right. test? <laughs> right. That's fucking weird. <laughs> right. Overall, 81% think it is something you should talk about. You should talk about past history in at least the first eight months. What do you all <coughs> think about that, that right there? And there's more. <coughs> okay. So, I have right here the 10 top states. Where they be fucking? Hold on. Is New Mexico a state? <laughs> <laughs> That's a country, right? <laughs> Don't Wait, know. it became a state, right? Don't it look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me, bitch. <laughs> Why? I don't know yet. Don't look at me for any answer. <laughs> you don't know either. <laughs> but it wasn't before, right? <laughs> <laughs> I see New Mexico. I'm like, hold on. Before I look stupid. <laughs> Let me just ask out loud right quick and even look you stupider. You ask quietly. <laughs> you should have asked her quietly. <laughs> look, Tyler's got the map. Is that new? I thought so, but I wasn't talking. New compared to? Like, it wasn't there before, right? Like, we only have 50 states. We got 51 now, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's dead serious. Like, I am. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, shut up. You're making us look stupid. <laughs> I got a newest proposal. New York. I'm done. <laughs> this, was, this is like New York all over again. <laughs> There's two New York states, okay? <laughs> I don't even want the stills from this. Your eyeliner's going <laughs> to run eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not even looking back at her. No. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere, but. <laughs> Bitch, go be like, bitch, look the other way. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> you don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop. I can't. And then she goes, bitch, stop talking. You make it look. I'm just going to ignore you guys. <laughs> I'm snoring. <laughs> She's just snooted. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we got to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's live. You can't cut that out. <laughs> Tyler could do anything. No, he can't. He can't undo that. <laughs> There's she no. She just wants to drag me down with her. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. Every time. Every time. <laughs> and I keep stepping on. I still have questions, though. Of course you do. Well, ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me nothing. I'm not answering them. I. When we got into the New York, New York City, New York thing, I, no, we don't do geography anymore. <laughs> Me and her do not do geography anymore. <laughs> it was the Canada thing with all of us. <laughs> what Canada thing? Shut up. <laughs> this is the third time now. <laughs> we need to go back to school. Shit. <laughs> we are not smarter than a fifth grader. And, and not. <laughs> oh, my God. Like Fuck. you were in that conversation. Was I? Yeah. Probably, see. <laughs> Weren't you in that Canada conversation? I what was the Canada conversation? Oh yeah, she was. Yeah. About Canada being a state. I think I stepped out on that one too. Yeah, you did. Canada was a state. Canada Do you remember it? Time? Or Canada was a country. Canada is a country. No, I what what did we say? I thought it was 
You probably said it was no, a state. We ain't gonna get into this. This is private group in. messages. It's <laughs> I think we said there was two Canadas. There no, you said there was two New Yorks. No, it was a U.S. side no, and a bitch, Canadian side. We thought Canada was a state because it's right next to us. Right, it's on the U.S. side. Yeah. There's Niagara in New York. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh my God. How? That can fast. we just can we just move on? <laughs> that fucking fast. All right. Oh. What about it? <laughs> what oh, about it? Go ahead. <laughs> well, New Mexico's on here, and apparently it's a state. <laughs> yeah. I thought it just got added recently. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry, New Mexicoans. I'm about to leave. <laughs> Wait, so is Mexico a state on here <laughs> in the U.S.? <laughs> no, that one's not. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And now comes the why. But if New Mexico is. I was going to say that. I <laughs> already <laughs> fucking know you are. I already fucking know you are. Oh, my God. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus so Washington, <laughs> go figure, a politician state, has 54 circuits. I'm, now I'm probably going to have the fucking FBI, because that's his name, <laughs> about fucking <laughs> Biden's hometown. Washington, I do, listen, don't come after me, because I said something about Biden either, you dumb motherfuckers. Washington has 54 sexual partners. Average? Yeah. Damn. The average in Connecticut is 31. They ain't got nothing better to do. I guess not. The average in New Mexico. <laughs> but hold on. The now. country? Is or it the split? <laughs> is Mexico and New Mexico split? Like, is there a wall? Oh, my fucking God. Yes, the southern border. We'll talk off air. Okay, so when so New Mex- illegals what? are coming over, where do you think they're coming from? Not New Mexico. The water on a boat. Hey, don't they come over on a boat? I know Italians. No, do. no. Oh. Mexicans don't come from a boat. <laughs> Puerto Ricans come from the boat. <laughs> Where are the Puerto Ricans They're go? Not even They're not even illegal. <laughs> 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 I'm you not know? even in this. <laughs> She don't know either. Nope. <laughs> she don't know either. There's no I water. Don't, I don't believe there that is the, no water between there. Mexico. No, from me- water in the United t- States. There's no no water. I'm looking at water. Oh wait, that's that's the color of the map. That is not fucking water. It's the background. No. Oh my god. That's the Anyone who's Mexi- watching, that's the Gulf I'm of so. Mexico. I am so. That's the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, so New Mexico has 20 Look people. at that. Look at that. I can't see it. That's Mexico. The orange is Mexico, and there's New Mexico. Right, so, so people when border go from patrol, the water to Mexico. No, you said they come from Mexico through the water. Oh, so they just do it through the sand and stuff? <laughs> there's a wall. There's a wall. Didn't Biden break that down, though? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> yeah, you really are. I'm so confused. <laughs> and every time they say a wall, I'm thinking of the Berlin Wall. I don't even smoke, and my brain cells are going away. <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, this is insane. Yeah. She doesn't even want to answer you. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know either. She don't want to answer you because she doesn't want to look that stupid. She don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, bitch, quit coming for me. Right, like. Don't take me down with you. No. I knew it was different. I mean, I knew it was different. I just thought they were together. I knew. <laughs> like Canada and Can Canada, we move like, on? Like, <laughs> Canada, like Canadian people and like the Canada-U.S. side. There's still a Canadian border. Did I don't have a wall? Have oh. you ever had to go through Canadian customs? There's a fucking wall. We'll call it a... 
A theoretical wall. No, that's the fall of thing. That's going from the U.S. into Canada. Right. That's another country. Yeah. Well, we could drive there, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't you know. have to. You could drive to Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to do that. You could. Yeah. So we have Wisconsin, <laughs> <laughs> which oh is. Oh, my God. Now, I don't understand their average because then it gets <laughs> into point four is like 19.4. So I don't know if we're adding like little people into the equation <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I said little people. I said it correct. <laughs> you did. It's that point four. Or so amputees or something. <gasps> Are you making small jokes of my toe? <laughs> no, it's still on. We're going to hell this episode. But like, point life. four isn't even a whole person. So it's always a half a person. It's a little it's person. It's not. Point but five got, is a half a but person. But they got these two. But it's point four, so that's four little people missing two legs. <laughs> oh my god. Two legs and two arms. It's just. It a could torso. be a dwarf. Like I don't know. Arkansas has eighteen point nine little people. <laughs> eighteen go, average people and nine little people. Eighteen point nine. Then we have Georgia, 18.6. We have Maryland, 18.4. We have Kansas, 17.8. Michigan, 17.6. And Florida shocked the fuck out of me. It came in last at 15. Florida? Yeah. They, yeah. I thought they would have had a lot more. I thought Ohio was going to be in that bitch, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. We all get fucked from there. So this is the 10 lowest. You have Pennsylvania with 8.6, South Carolina with 8.5, Colorado with 8.4, Illinois with 8.3, and that's a fucking lie because my dude's from there and he's a whore. He beats that number by, like, a lot. Uh, Arizona, 4.2, Mississippi, 9.3, New Jersey, 9.4, Idaho, or no, that's Indiana, I'm sorry, 9.3. Ohio was one of the lowest, 9.7, and Oregon was 10. So what's the last one? Is that Oregon? Yes. No, that's not Oh, the no, last. the lowest was Pennsylvania, 8.6. I did lowest to highest. But Ohio is second at 9.7. That is States with the greatest difference between real numbers. I don't know what that means. So, we have, I don't know what that means. States with <laughs> the greatest difference between real numbers. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Oh, so, we're, we're like those bad facts that you just gave us? No, I don't know oh. what that means. I think I did it on purpose or accident. 56.8% <laughs> say they only, okay, so when this, with the 2,000 people, 50.6.8% of those say <laughs> they only counted penetration. As, as opposed to oral or anal? Right. They only, they only counted penetration. What kind of penetration? Oral penetration, I'm sorry. What? Like head. They it only says counted head? Oral what? penetration. Oral pen they only counted oral as penetra oral penetration. That doesn't say oral. Was supposed to say oral penetration. Forty three point eight percent oral penetration. Count no, I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. Fifty six point eight percent said they only counted penetration. Forty three point eight percent counted non penetration. So like oral. sex mm -hmm. and penetrative sex. How do you count? I don't count oral. But do they count like hand jobs? Are those included in like someone's body count? Tyler? Is a hand job included in a body count? I don't think it would be. Like it's not actually like hitting a surface. Well. But if like they actually nut. Like yeah, on your face. If you have face? any encounter with somebody, I think it would count.
Yeah. yeah. Hand jobs are exhausting. <laughs> I hate it. I got long nails. I can't do it. Because I don't need your baby sticking it. No. Mm-mm. After a couple minutes, I'm like, oh, just do it yourself. <laughs> like I have to like, like and that's what his thing is. He's he's done it much longer. Like I even shower with those shower gloves. You know what I'm talking about? What do you mean? Like those shower gloves that you like mm-hmm. soap up and stuff. I can and like I it, a I'm anal. For like a mitt, like a shower glove. It's you put that on to, to jack and It's off? like a mitt. No, I'm talking about it. <laughs> I said I only. I said, when I shower, I'll only use a shower glove. What the fuck? What is that so guy? I'm saying I won't jack somebody oh. off because oh. it'll get under my nails. I don't fuck around with shit. I got long nails. Like, that shit's unsanitary as fuck. I can't do it. Oh. What, semen? Just, I can't do anything. But you'll put it in your mouth. But I don't need it stuck under my nails, touching food. Ugh. No. <laughs> Mm-mm. When you have long nails, there are certain things you don't stick your hands on. And catching semen is one of them. But you'll catch it in your mouth. Because I'm not, it's not sitting underneath like my right nail. Snack. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. It'd be getting crunchy and yellow. Like, no. Not if you, I mean, how long are you plan on letting it sit there? Like, even if you leave it there longer than five minutes, it's gross. It don't get crunchy and yellow if you leave it in a coochie. Because your coochie is moist. Oh, that word's gross, too. <laughs> <laughs> 21.6% feel the need to lie about how many people they've been with. That's so stupid. 12.9% keep a running list. Like, actually <laughs> keep it on. I used to. Sam did, then someone gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> and ruined his whole life. And now he's fat and bald. And a piece of shit. And a piece of shit. 15.7% do not count it as a hookup if they did not orgasm. <laughs> Females did that one. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I don't like know what you're talking about. I don't like that word. I say it, but I have to say it, but I ain't get off. <laughs> I can't. Do you know how many partners I've had that I realized that I really didn't get off to? You said that Girth is the only one you really act like. Every single time. Like, the only one. Every single time. He be making me squirt and then make me stop because he's not ready for it. Well, we on the bed and I'm not wanting it on my bed. <laughs> and then I be getting mad because he'll shove it all the way in so I won't. Look, <laughs> he can't do no good. She get mad during sex. She get <coughs> mad after sex. Usually he'll, he'll put me what. to the end of the bed and, and finish me off. Usually, but sometimes he, he, he don't. Her ass just like me, though. Don't answer her in any type of way, like, oh, wait. If I be doing that, I'm like, who the fuck are you talking to like that? They're like, hold on, what are you talking about? I'm like, why are you talking to me that in that tone, David? We just talked about this. And it I wasn't cried about no it. attitude. Yes, she was. I was on the phone that time. He showed did. I, I, she has proof. I take. Listen, I'm taking her side on that one. He said, you owe me apology. No, you know she don't. That. I was there for that one. He swears he didn't give me no attitude. He, uh-uh, girth, listen, you know, you he my boy, watching. you my, you my boy, he ain't watching. you need to show him this one at 1140-something, boy, you owe her an apology, I was on the phone. Ain't even worth it, girl. Hell no. 18.1% of women said they are likely to feel, oh, he is watching. Bitch. <laughs> 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 She's like, there you go, looking at me again. See, now, see, quit, I, quit looking on. at her. I get her caught up in shit like maps and shit. You see what she be getting me caught up in? He just he ain't watching, watching, girl. Get me talking. They could probably go. fucking text him. Ah! Like, you better tune in. Uh, I don't never slip, baby. You just did. <clears throat> no, I didn't. You did. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> did you see what I'm saying? We just gonna ride this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. Let's go. Ain't nobody lying though. I've been watching that shit too, so. Okay, well, with all due respect, sir, you was wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love you though. You my homie. I love you. 
<laughs> he said, you owe me a apology. I said, no, I don't. She really don't. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. I'm not even going to chime in because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> so so it was the stupidest shit that happened, like, for no reason. Like, my heart is starting to be really fast. I'm, like, nervous. Like, I'm just <laughs> like, she done got me caught up in some shit right her. I'm just getting her caught up in Canada and New Mexico. <laughs> like, she getting me caught up in real life shit. No. <laughs> It's over. Yeah, I don't know nothing. It's over with. Like, <laughs> I don't know shit. She get me in trouble, and then, <laughs> and then, I was like, "Babe, I'm gonna go over her house and stay the night, cause you know, girl, you know, is in it." And he looked at me. He's like, "Yeah, okay." I'm like, "What?" I'm 44. I can stay wherever I want. I was gonna get her in trouble. I'm like, "Stop," cause he's not gonna like me now. <laughs> And she like, let me sit No back. sleepovers in your 40s. I know. I'm like, dude, I'm going to sleep at her house. Guess where I went? Home. Not her house. Whatever. <laughs> so I asked him on the way home. I'm like, why can't I stay? Like, you, what if I want to do a girl's trip? He's like, well, that's different. I'm like, oh, is it? He's like, well. I've never done, like, a girl's he's trip. He's like, you could do it, but I'm going to be in the next room. You know who going to be with him? That that motherfucker right there. Letting us do what the fuck we would have done anyways. Sit there. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Next. Y'all can sit in the fucking okay. room on your phone. We're going to be no. out by the pool. We going, we going, we going. Y'all, pick a day. Mm-hmm. In April. 81.1% of women women say they are, they are, 80.1 of, wow, bro, he got me nervous. Why? Do you want me to read? 80.1% of women said they feel pressured to round down. This ain't the fucking change. Right. I'm, if you a grown woman yeah. and you feel pressured by a man to do anything, then that is not the man for you. Facts. Society. I, yeah. But, but it, yeah, you're right. I got a friend who was like, by society standards, a big hoe. But like she just kept her held high, her, her head head held high. Like you I'm doing me. Yeah. You still talk to her? No, I don't talk to her anymore. She's married now. Mm, she got married and had some kids after she had yeah, the other one sucked right out, out of her. Who? Huh? They just slid right out, didn't they? Oh, I don't know. But that right there, saying like that, is society. Oh no, that ain't society. That was her. She was. She she definitely had a hoe face. Absolutely. But she didn't look at it like that. I feel like everybody had a whole face. Oh no, Mm-mm. she 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 burnt some people. I know. Fifty one point two percent said they do not care and don't keep track. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. No, I don't care. Like I th- I've I th- the keeping of the track thing. Like, why would you even do that? Like for real, for real though. Like, if there's no reason to, like, say, like, okay, well, you fucking. I wanted to. Like, you fucking somebody and you I got an STD. Name them. Then maybe. But if there's no actual reason, why? Yeah. Why? Like, I just don't get it. 37.7% say they discuss their f- numbers with friends. We've all done that. Yeah. Shit, we discuss. We discuss pooping on our significant others, y'all. <laughs> I've never shit on my significant other. Are you serious? Like laid him on the bed, squatted over and him shit? No, no I've never dude, shit on him. Pooped on him. No. Oh, well. Oh, you mean like anal? Mm-hmm. Of course you shit on I mean, there's always going to be shit on the tip, at least. You shit on him. 73.7. I thought you meant like Cleveland fucking steamered him. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck is that? She knows everything. How do you not know what that is? Well, I'm guessing because it has to do with You got a sex show. Like, how do you not know? (laughs) No, I have a pillow talk show. We talk about things like this. Bukakis. Didn't know. Fellatio. Because I never heard people say these words. Okay, contract, Kathy. You have a list. We do not. I did. The Cleveland Steamer. I think I know it from, like, fucking... I feel like I've heard it before, but I don't. It's, is that it's the when one you we shit, shit on he's the toilet? Googling it. Is that no, the one? it's where you shit on your partner. You take a steaming shit on your partner. 
Who in the fuck would do that? That's out of the toilet, I can't even read right? that. No, that's a blumpkin <laughs> when you <laughs> give head to someone who's taking a shit. Yeah, I know that one. Have you done that? No. no, just because you know what it is doesn't mean that you've done it. Of course, bitch. The show's almost over. That's great. The Thanks. Cleveland steamer is for more specific than the listings I've seen here. Sexual act by nature. It's a fetish. Don't know what it's when one person craps on another person's chest and very, oh, and very important, then sits down and rocks back and forth like a steamroller. Of course, Devin knows. <laughs> With your butt. <laughs> Put me on chest and they smear it. Yeah. Yeah. They probably did that to somebody, one of their friends as a prank or something. No, he probably did it. <laughs> yeah, Dirty. that's gross. Uh, no, I don't think he I think I, I like, like heard about it on, it was like a cartoon show or something. I can tell you right now, I get too many infections. That would not be happening. I, I mean, would. that's just not <laughs> safe. It's not no, because like that's pink eye. That's what motherfuckers want happen. bitches to do for money. I would do it for like, money. That's I wouldn't like even do it for you money. You get pink eye from poo flakes. Like no, like you get more than pink eye on your girl pink eye uh, <laughs> from doing that. Like uh, that's just disgusting. Bro, yeah. that is like a whole diaper rash times like a thousand. <laughs> like fuck the pink salve. You gonna need a whole like. That's terrible. Oh, my coochie hurt right now, weirdo. Mm-hmm. Hello, Ian, ever? I ain't never. I ain't never. How you know about it then? Just because you know about things doesn't mean you've done them. I've never fucking done that. And I've never had anyone do it to me. I like, I've never. Yeah, because she's sensitive as fuck. Yeah, I'm. Mm-mm. 73.7% feel there is a stigma for women with higher numbers. We just talked about that. Yep. That's very true. 8.3% admitted to having sex with a previous partner to not add to their numbers. Absolutely not. I've done that so many times, and Ooh. then I realized that it was so corny, <laughs> and then I made a rule to never go back to somebody <laughs> after. He knows everything from Urban Dictionary. Yeah, I know. I will he say. He was one nosy ass kid and learned everything at a very young age. I was <laughs> trying to go back. This is why, though. I was trying uh, to go back with this dude who lived in Buffalo. But. Yeah. That shit was toxic. I couldn't imagine me ever going back to anybody that I. I found ever out like he listen. He was in my fucking inbox like telling me, "Oh well, I wouldn't ever get married. I would get married to this special chick in Ohio. Her name's Jen. Now what? Da, da, da. Come to find out, this motherfucker had another baby, and got married. But you in my inbox. What? How would she feel about that? Because I'm telling you, if I had a brand new baby and I found out my husband, like, because she already knows about me. Because they was together when we were together before. And I was still married to my ex. Mm -hmm. So he was supposed to leave her. I was leaving my ex. You know what I'm saying? But he ended up staying with her, having another baby, and got married. And then tried to lie about it. And I caught him. And denied that the baby was his. Like, send me a picture. Send me a picture with all his kids. And I said, that's a cute baby. Mm -mm. He was like, yeah. And just moved along. Never even said it was his. I'm like, uh, okay. So I I tried to go back. But then I realized we are not going back. We are going forward. And then David came forward. Mm -hmm. And I was like, perfect. Doopsies. And he showed me what it was. You know. Got me fucked up. For real. I Oh, that shit makes me so mad. So I blocked him. And then he, like, deleted his TikTok. And then the other day I'm on TikTok. And who the fuck pops up? Oh. <sighs> I'm like, why? Why? With his TikToks and his little wedding ring. I hope that's for that fucking cheap ass shit. <laughs> 16.5% have not slept with someone because of their number. Now, I wouldn't. Nah. Mm-mm. So you just going to stop having sex because you've had sex with the amount of people that you chose to have sex with. 
Right. No, thank you. I'm I'm cool. Read that again. Sixteen point five percent have not slept with someone because of their numbers. Probably because of their numbers, not right. their own numbers. Right. That's their own insecurity. Oh, shit. I forgot to call out the number and shit. Fuck. For what? For people to call in. <laughs> I forgot. I suck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, y'all, listen. So next week we gonna have a super packed fucking show. Y'all don't want to miss it. Louise is coming the fuck back. We gonna have all the bitches back in the studio next week. It's gonna be a packed show. As you know, we will drop the topic on Monday on Facebook. Y'all, please go to Facebook and share, like, subscribe on YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. You know. We can't keep doing this if y'all don't, like, share our shit and subscribe our shit and like our shit. It's like we kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? We and appreciate the watching ones that do. Like weirdos. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, y'all got to like our shit and stuff. So, um, hook us up with some likes and shit. Um, again, <laughs> we would like to... Give our thoughts and prayers to Rachel from www.blissfulandblessed.com. We hope mm-hmm. little Chub Chub is okay. And uh, give our thoughts and prayers to you as well and the other kiddos in the hubby. Uh, y'all go check her out at um, Blissful and Blessed on Facebook. Go ahead and like and sign up for her text notifications. You will get notified of all her wall drops and her lives. Obviously, she can't do them right now, um, but when she does, got cute, 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 cute clothes. I wear them often and buy them often. Uh, she has accessories, and she got some cute-ass shoes coming out. I just want them so bad, but she ain't get my size on so bad. And then we have spy, spy, uh, spy nails. As always, my girl, Christy, and my boy, Lee, on them petties. Um, my toes fire <laughs> hooking it up uh, give them a call they on uh, York Road in it, it says Cleveland online but that's not Cleveland that's Parma it, Heights that's Parma Heights but it does say Cleveland online it's right next to uh, it's right by the drug bar where the Dunkin Donuts is uh, right there on York Road go ahead and check them out they are, it, it, man, it's such a laid back scene. I love them. They look out for me, like, so hardcore. Um, oh, yeah, we ain't doing Robert Park's bitch ass no more, you stupid son of a bitch. Uh, go ahead and stay away from Mar- Robert Park tats. He is a thief. He took a deposit for a tat from me, ghosted me, my husband, and Sam with two M's on Facebook. And all other social media. Um, try to tell Louise he just got rid of his account, but yeah, your messenger is open, and she's the only one that can contact and you. And you still owe Sam six. Oh, and you owe Sam with two M sixty dollars, bitch. So because so. I don't want another tattoo. So uh, we know why you blocked her now. So uh, yeah, we gonna go ahead and get that. Anyway, um, but like I said before, if you gonna take money, don't do crackhead money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crackhead You're going to steal, steal big. Like I'm so. saying, though, like, that's crackhead shit. But like I said, too, like, I gave you that because you were struggling. So I gave you that and offered that out the goodness <laughs> of my heart, and you took it. And offered you a fucking job. And offered you a job, bitch. You got the $25 an hour. The cash money. Audacity. That day. And that's what you did. And you knew you owed her $60 and didn't say shit about it. He didn't even say one word to me. Laughing, chalking it up. But seen her and then blocked her and left. <sighs> With that troll. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Anyway, um, <coughs> who yeah. else we got? Who else we got? Oh, yeah, fuck Jeremy. Um, but you friends with Jeremy, so that's like, you know, two bitches in a basket. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's friends with him? Yeah. Oh, God. Mm. You know, she knew to cut that one off. Yeah, two dope fiends together. Um, oh, what else? Let me think. Oh, we don't do heartbreak text no more. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because you and him got uh, heartbreak tattoo. Fired your bitch ass. So I'm going to give them motherfuckers a shout out. Heartbreak tattoo. Best tattoo place in the world. Ghosty Heartbreak Tattoo on Lorraine Avenue in North Olmstead. Did you see her stupid comment? What? Blue. <laughs> Master David. Blue. Blue. <laughs> We're just going to leave it at that. Uh, David messaged him. He did not reply. Um, and then we have... Uh, Who else we got? Let me see if I'm blocked. Tattoo Cafe on Broadview. See Joe. He did uh, Louise's piercings, my piercings. They asked what you tattoos to. Go check him out. Great guy. Um, we got Heather. Fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, look, this shit got me fucked up right now. Uh, Heather. Where's Heather? Help me out here. Here we go. 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 This one? Here we go. Yeah. Nope. He blocked you too. No, he right there. Where? I don't know. He got her blocked too. He blocked her too because he knows she's on the fucking show. Huh. Bitch. Mm. Be. We don't like you. I don't even know you, so fuck off. Fuku. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tyler, again. Uh, Y'all be checking out that video. Tyler knocked it out. Like I said, 24 hours. We sent him some pictures. He hooked it up. Um, Y'all got to check us out on Spotify, though, because apparently we going to have a commercial on there as well. Audio commercial. I guess we got enough uh, views or something, so we get a commercial. We're going to be doing that tonight before we leave. Uh, but, yeah, thank you for tuning in. I think it was a great show tonight. Um Tune in next week. Louise will be back. We'll be back to our fucking. Maybe it won't be fucking snowing next week. <sighs> oh, I, I hope it's not bad out there. Fuck, I just remembered that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's supposed to get bad tonight, so. What? Y'all be careful. Uh-huh. Fuck a duck. Yeah. And I was under. I was going to go to Ridge to Dunkin' Donuts before I went home. No, just go home. I need Dunkin'. Just Fuck go home. home. All right, y'all. We love you. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks to Miz. Sam with two M's. Thelma, Tyler. Bye.